Hello everybody. Our next camera is the Polaroid Sonar One Step SX70. It's from 1978. I haven't independently verified it, but I've seen it listed as the first autofocus SLR. That could be true. Most of the uh, biggies didn't come out uh, with autofocusing SLRs, 35 millimeter mostly until the mid 80s. Uh, it has a four element 116 millimeter glass lens goes from f8 to f74. Uh, it seems pretty slow but you gotta remember this is really a large format camera. It will uh, close focus to 10.4 inches that's 26 centimeters something like that. The shutter <clears throat> The shutter goes from 1 180th of a second to the manual says 14 seconds or more. I'm not real sure what that means. Um, it does uh, sonar autofocusing using this emitter and then there's this switch on the front. Hopefully you can see that. You can see the red and now it's set for manual focus and then there's a distance scale in here with the lens, like the uh, older SX-70s. Really inconvenient distance scale since you have to keep doing that to read it. There's a sensor for auto exposure and then the light and dark and control. From what I can find, it's uh, plus or minus one and a half stops. It's not in the manual. And then this little bitty sensor over here is just for the use flash or use a tripod uh, warning in the viewfinder. Um, there were some electronic flashes made for this later but its original design it was using the uh, flash bar. The original Polaroid packs had 10 shots per pack and then there were um, 10 bulbs in the flash bar. Down here I don't have it but there is a remote shutter button socket so you know if you're using a tripod or doing a really long exposure or something like that. Um, it does have the tripod socket and the strap lugs so with the specs this is essentially an SX70 Alpha 1 with this sonar focusing unit grafted onto it. It's a pretty nice camera thankfully this one is in good shape I shot a pack of the impossible black and white film for the SX-70. This one uh, expired about a year ago. I swore I was going to stop doing that, but I'm still working through the stock in the refrigerator. For being expired and for being impossible, which is, they're still learning their way and improving with each iteration, the pictures came out pretty nice. Um, I really do like this camera. Um, it may actually end up being more flexible than an SLR 680 uh, made for the 600 film. I've got one of those but it needs some repairs. But with an ND filter on this, this could use the uh, SX-70 film or the 600 film that the Impossible Project makes. For the old film you had to clip the little nubs off of the 600 speed film to use it in one of these. I really, really liked shooting with this, so I'm going to get some fresh film and do it again, and I'll see you then.